Hello, you're welcome to another beautiful day. This is a Light for the Nation, a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. My name is Tony Abba. Today, Reverend Father Colin Sahibe is telling us to put our gaze on the cross. Today, we want to look at gazing at the cross, the cross of Christ. Let us have a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, we thank you. On the cross of Calvary, you show us every virtue, every goodness we need to have. Lord, give us the grace to be patient with you. You went through patiently on the cross of Calvary. Give us the grace to love you as you demonstrated on the cross. Thank you for everything. May your name alone be glorified. We made these prayers through Christ our Lord. Our reading today is taken from Galatians chapter 6, verse 14. But may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. Now, gazing at the cross is important. When we gaze at the cross, so many things happen to us. Many of the great saints, they will only spend time to be to sit at the foot of the cross, to meditate. At the cross, number one, we see the love of God that has been poured into our hearts and our lives. We see how much God loves us so, so much. Because in our daily living, there's a tendency for us to forget how much God cares for us. There's a tendency for us to overlook the kindness and the goodness of God. So when we get at the cross of Christ, we see the greatest act of love. Gazing at the cross of Christ, you see how much God cares for you. We are told that God gave us his only begotten son. If you are the one, you have only one child. Would you give your only one child for the sake of your siblings? Many of us will not agree. Even not all of us. But we are selfish. But God gave us his only son. So when you, get at, when you get at the cross of Christ, the first thing is you see the love of God. That God loves you. That automatically will make you to be, yes, I am special. So the benefit of knowing how much God loves you is enough to keep you for the day. Because sometimes we forget that God cares for us and loves us and we worry over nothing. Another benefit of gazing at the cross is at the cross, we, we see also the path that we should follow. The cross teaches us the need to be sacrificial in our dealing with one another. Christ laid down his life for us on the cross of Calvary. So teaching us that we too should lay down our life for one another. So the cross teaches us a lesson in sacrifice. Christ made sacrifice for you and for me. The question is, how much sacrifices are you making for the sake of Christ for your neighbor? So the, the, the lesson we gain, we gain or we learn from gazing at the cross is that we become sacrificial people. We are here on earth, not for ourselves. We are here to serve God. That's why life is not about convenience. Life is about sacrifice. Because we are here to serve God. In serving God, we are going to make sacrifices so that everything good will go around. Another lesson we learn from the cross of Christ, we learn the lesson of meekness and submissiveness. When you get at the cross, you recognize what the Bible tells us that even though Christ was God, he did not claim equality with God. Philippians chapter 2, from verse 5 and following. He said, we should imitate Christ, who though he was God, he did not claim equality with God. He humbled himself and submitted to the will of his Father. So at the cross of Christ, we learn to be humble. We learn to submit to the will of God. Because Christ humbled himself and submitted to his Father, verse 10, or that Philippians chapter 2, the Bible tells us that he was given a name that's above every other name. So that in measure of the name of Jesus Christ, every name must bow. How did he achieve it? He humbled himself. He submitted to his father. So we learn a lesson in meekness and submissiveness. When we gaze at the cross, we also learn a lesson of patience and perseverance. Many of us, we want, want solution quick, quick. We need to 
be patient with ourselves. We need to be patient with our situation. Very, very important. So the cross teaches us lesson in patience and lesson in perseverance. So therefore, if you are not patient, be patient with yourself. That's why you need to gaze at the, at the cross. The cross of Christ will teach you every good virtue you can think of. Another lesson we need to learn, or we can learn from gazing at the cross of Christ, is the need to be merciful. Mercy. The Lord has shown us mercy on the cross of Calvary. So therefore, we too must be merciful to others, as well as those who have offended us. While he was on the cross and be crucified, Christ said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Right now, somebody may have offended you, and you are refusing to give up. I am saying to you, be patient. Remember, Christ has shown you mercy. Be merciful to others. On the cross of Calvary, you see the mercy of Christ. Let us be merciful. On the cross of when you gaze at the cross of Christ, you learn a lesson on the need to be compassionate, on the need to show good to be good, on the need to care for others. Christ cares so much for us. He loves us so much. So let us be, be compassionate. Let us love one another. These are lessons we learn from the cross of Calvary. When we gaze, when we fix our gaze on the cross, we become men and women of integrity, men and women of meekness, men and women of submissiveness, men and women of holiness. So we learn every good virtue from the cross. So I pray that every one of us today, five times, once in a day, sit back before the foot of the cross. Look at what Christ did for you on the cross of Calvary and ask yourself, what am I doing for my neighbor? Christ suffered for me. He died for me. How am I suffering? How am I giving way to others so that there will be peace and there will be joy and there will be harmony in the society? Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, I thank you for the gift on this beautiful day. Help us, Lord, to gaze at your cross. In gazing at your cross, we will find grace, we will find strength, we will find strength to face our situation, we will find strength to love one another. And may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Collins Aigbe is the order of the preachers guiding us in today's reflections. I believe you have learned how to put your gaze on the cross because it is the cross of Christ that is our salvation. But if you have questions or suggestions you wish to share with us, please send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria.com or better still, post us a comment on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to interact with you and help one another to always focus on the cross of Christ. Bye for now and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye.